Hey, what's going on? It's Jeremiah Alexis, aka the Urban Nomad. And we're here in front of Bordner's for Zulu Lounge with the legendary DJ Chebai Saba. Are you ready for it? I hope so. Let's do this. Come on! with Zulu and we're at the Zulu Lounge. This is his party. When did you get this thing started? Man, I've been doing this for about 15 years, you know. I just tattoo so many different people like circus performers, dancers, fire eaters, a vast pool of entertaining people. I need to do something with that and that's where my little circus came from, Zulu Lounge. This is a charity event. Talk a little bit about the charity and what they do and, and how you're involved in it. Well, this particular charity is called Erase the Past. And what they do is they take guys, gang members that have like bad tattoos that affiliate them with their gangs and they have them laser removed if the gang, ex-gang member will do some community service. These guys are trying to improve themselves but they can't get a job with that on them. So we erase their past, get it off so they can jump back in the community and be positive. I'm with the legendary Chebi Saba. You've been a DJ since the 60s in, in Paris. Uh, you've been around since the very beginning of electronic music. What is it like to see this thing that you are a part of from the beginning flourish and go all over the world? I used to be a good friend with Don Cherry, the famous trumpet player, which sometimes we refer as the godfather of world music in the sense that he, he was the first jazz person to bring in tabla, sitar, and all of that in the 60s and actually his interpretation was we don't really ever do anything totally new it just already exists as a vibration but we put our own stamp or our own interpretation to sound music will always evolve it's how many seven notes so yeah. it's amazing <laughs> out of the seven notes all the different sounds you can get so it seems to be like an evolution of Obviously technology because music had to go that way because it's, it's ruling our lives. One of my favorite songs of all time is Roger Vidalu. Wow. I love that song. It haunts me. What is the man chanting in that song? I was in uh, Madras, Chennai. And actually what I realized was, you know, Carnatic music in the South, they really work with drum and bass. Yeah. You know, it's the way they, they count. And then I wanted a priest. He's an actual Vedic priest, which does Sanskrit rituals and mantras. The mantra that he did is about Vishnu and Lakshmi. But his voice, man, was like, right? Because that's the way they chant. It's uh, usually taught from father to son. It's a man trip, which goes back thousands of years. But this guy was so hard to control with the mic. Oh, really? You just <laughs> blow the mic out? <laughs> He's never been to a studio and he came on dressed full on like a priest, you know, Vedic priest, right? Brahman with his dhoti and the uh, tilak, you know. <laughs> and so he never had put headphones on. <laughs> you are Jewish, but you're from Algeria and you've had quite a few Muslim musicians on your music. What's something that can bridge the gap between the West and Islam maybe that you've noticed over the years that you'd like to share with us? Where I come from and also in India what you see is a Muslim teacher with a Hindu student. I come from a musician's family and my uncle was like a, a master, you know, a sheikh. All his musicians were Muslim. Music is is a weapon because that is one thing we have that can break those barriers. We're all the same, man. You know, we're just 
That's for damn sure. <laughs> We're just human and that's it. And in the end, everybody has the same aspirations. Everybody wants to be happy. And everybody has the same up and downs. Amen. <laughs>